This is a Western Electric C1, in really beautiful condition. And a C1 USA. We're gonna take care of the dial. Channel's a little, a little slow, a little. It's not exactly rough, but it's a little slow. Let's see what kind of dial it is too. Maybe we'll put a uh, 4H dial in here. We'll see. Some screws. Yeah, this is a really nice phone. I have a nice uh, subset for it too. Okay, before we start this thing, oh yeah, by the way, this thing has this little interesting gizmo that has to be popped out. And it's got two screws and that little thing of a jig that goes in that hole. Anyway, <clears throat> always make a little diagram just in case. You get a little stunar then you can't remember. Uh, your wire colors. And then you can take the wires off. Thusly, so you can work on the dial without stressing out your wires. And we'll just take these off. Now, this is a 5H dial dated 1938. And these early 5H dials have a nice sound. They don't sound like the later ones. Give me an example. I'm going to show you this thing. It's a little sluggish, but listen to the sound. It's got a nice sound. It almost sounds like a 4H. Now, here's a, a later 5. This is dated, what, 1945. Yeah, yeah not much different. A little smoother. But it's yeah, a little smoother. Anyway, take this apart. So, yeah, take this face off to begin with. So we can get in there. Dial off. It's probably the date of the phone. The thing is like brand new though. The guy I bought it from says it was in storage for years. There's a nice brass finger wheel. We'll put that aside. And here is our dial with our porcelain plate. Beautiful, beautiful. Really nice. Take this ring off. Put that aside. Carefully put this in a safe place. It's spotless. It's beautiful condition. 164 A dial plate. Now this one has the paper on it, which we're gonna have to coax off. This is like a dust cover. that aside and here is our dial mechanism I don't want this finger stop it's a little tarnished but I don't think I'm gonna polish it I think I'm gonna leave it like that I don't like these phones that look brand new you get an ancient phone that looks like it was made yesterday I, I, I don't like that yeah, I like when they show a little bit of age just a little bit of age all right, let's take this cover off. Uh, your orientation marks are these two little, these two little eyes that clear the two. Just 
spots where the, uh, the shafts are held in, if you want to call them a bearing, a bushing, whatever. Yeah, this has never been taken apart before, you can tell. I'm going to clean the contacts too when we're done. Okay. Now this plate has got the stop on it, so this thing don't go ape shit and spin all around. So you got to be careful that this thing don't take off on you. So then you got to wind up anything the other the world, but then you got to wind it back. And of course, you want to give yourself as little work as possible. being held by this the thing that enables it to pulse and you can go past it you don't, you don't want to you don't need to so what we need to do always grease on the gears oil on the pivot points here you don't want oil on the gears you want grease on the gears they say never to oil the uh, governor and they're right because there's friction things. However, there's parts of it you need to oil. The governor has these little things that spread. It's centrifugal. They come out and have like brake shoes and they rub the sides and keep it constant speed like an old phonograph. The old phonographs are the same way. <clears throat> but there's parts of this that need to be lubricated very, very carefully. Like right over here. I mean, literally a half a drop. And right inside there, this piece over here, the bearing. Uh, this over here, believe it or not, is one of the uh, shafts that spins. It's held in there like a bearing, but bushing. I keep saying bearing, I mean bushing. And it's really no bushing, it's in the steel, and these things have been going. I mean, you look at this one, 1938. Was... Alright, now we'll get the oil. Well, first we'll get the grease. Let's get the grease first. Get the grease. And very carefully get some grease in there. All right, I just added a little more light. It's just for the camera, but for me, I can't see the damn thing. All right, now let's get in there. I gotta be careful with this thing. I'm gonna get some grease on this gear. Now, this is synthetic grease. It's Really good stuff. It was very hard to find, believe it or not. I don't know why I couldn't find synthetic grease. Found it in Harbor Freight. Nice big tubes. Get it all around the gear. And on these little gears in there. Little guys. It's hard to get in there. Let me get it. This one here. Yeah, see, these little guys are hidden in there, but if you grease up the big one, it carries it into the into the one you're trying to reach, which is hidden in there. And you want to get a little bit of this. This is synthetic grease, as I said. This is a dental irrigator. And you just take the tube and squeeze it into this to fill it up. And this is the uh, the dial pulse cam. So put grease on both sides of the teeth. And a little ten of them. Very well greased. Okay, leave this down. 
<clears throat> get the oil. This is just a regular light machine type oil. I got it in Lowe's, wherever the hell I got it. You can't go ape shit with this stuff. You gotta be careful here. Let it flow down the, and have a nice long applicator like this so you can get in there. Just enjoy. See, it's gonna absorb right in there. Drop. Drop. Go a little bit. All the moving parts. See this thing right here? You want that to have some oil? There's a spring in here too. I always I let, the, let a little oil seep in there. Oil's the spring. And of course, the shaft. Yeah. That's why you need the long applicator so you can reach it. And as I said, on this side, you have this nice spot right here. It's one of the shafts, the gears. Got this thing here. And a little bit right there. A little bit right there. And a little bit, in fact, it's a little too much. I'm going to wipe. Soak a little bit of that up. The rest of it soaked in, which is what we want. Okay. Okay, and down in here, where is it? Yeah, right where this rotates. I'm going to get some oil down in there. It'll, it'll eventually work its way down into the shaft. That's about it, I guess. We got this thing. Gotta put a little, you know, we got the grease on there. Put another dab of grease on there. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. And we actually did it without making this thing spin past the stop, which is a good thing. Oh, that thing is greased up good. From when we greased the, uh, the cam teeth. And you can see how much smoother and quieter it is. It quiets it down a little bit too, having the grease on those teeth. With this click click stuff. And the synthetic grease doesn't uh, doesn't affect the uh, rubber parts. I'm gonna put a little, 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 little tiny dab of grease over here. Let's just get some out of the applicator. Right here where this thing is rubbing. Yeah, there you go. All right, things are looking good. I think we got everything. Uh, you know what? One more spot we can grease. With just a little dab will do you. Is on this thing right here. It's a little spring. Hmm. Perfecto. Perfecto. And where it hits you. 
right where it hits there. Oh, and everything is looking nice. Now we'll get this plate ready to put back on. Okay, we had it set this way. There's the two bushings, and there were the two little eyebrows, I call them, to clear those bushings. Push this back, drop it in, so it acts as a stop. And two of the screws are in there already. Let's see if we can get them in a hole. Well, that one popped out. Let's see this one. We yeah, got that one. Got that one in, I think. Alright. Let's get this one out. And put it in our trusty screw holder. Screw starter. No, oh, these things are priceless. I got the whole set. This is the smallest one. Where'd it go? Dropped off? Get over here. Come on, you son of a gun. Where do you go? You go right here. Okay, there we have it. Mm, a lot quieter. Pulse rate seems okay. It might be a little, a little bit slow, but I think it's going to be. It's going to work fine. There's a tolerance. I think it's going to work fine. Very nice. All right, let's make sure we don't have any stray oil anywhere. Move it a little bit. And we do the rest in reverse. We put the paper back and blah blah blah. Alright, the paper is in. Next comes the dial plate, which I'm gonna have to clean this thing, it looks so clean. I'm just gonna wipe it quickly. Alright. You didn't have to see me struggle, not that I did, but to get that paper in. All right, let's get this on. Your notch goes to the uh, finger stop, of course. And there we go. And now comes the retaining ring, which we will put in without chipping the porcelain. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're all done. I'm going to clean these, have a look at them, make sure everything is good here. When you go to dial, one contact is supposed to short out the receiver so you don't hear the click-click, etc., etc. So you can make sure all of that's in, in good shape. Very early space saver, 1938. Very early, early space saver in absolutely mint condition. This thing looks like it was never used. It's amazing. With beautiful wiring. Mint condition. Okay, let's put the uh, the magic ring on. Is this clean? Give this a quick cleaning. 
Yeah, it wasn't even dirty. It's just the uh, the paint. Oh, okay, get that on there. They're nice. This, interestingly, some of these early dials have no washer. Just the nut, as this one does. The number two dials, I think, have no washer also. Now we're going to find a nice cover for this. Okay, there we have it. Yeah, it'll be good for many years, many years to clean the contacts. We use a contact file. And this is a contact file. GC. Okay. See, like this contact here, when you move the dial, it opens. You close it. Just do a little bit of that. Likewise, this one closes. It's the one that shorts out the receiver so you don't hear clicking. And of course, this is your pulsing. You gotta get it while it's open. Right, like that. Just a little bit. Just to make sure it's clean. Probably is fine. Went while I got it apart. Yep, about it for three points, I think. That's about it. All right, now we'll get it back in. All right, everything's wired up again. We have our, and all the terminals are marked. All the terminals are marked. You got your W terminal, which is the brown with the slate. We have the Y terminal, which is the brown with the yellow. If you can see that. Black, BK, BB, brown, blue, and the R terminal, brown, red. You got the red, little red flakes in there. And that's how it goes back. Now we will get it back in here. All right, there it is all put back together again. I can't believe the condition of this thing. Look at this. This has never been mounted. There's not a scratch on it. Not on the bracket. Nowhere. This is just unbelievable. This is in absolutely remarkable condition. I didn't take this part apart to clean the contacts and all of that jazz. I don't even know if it needs it. I just wanted to get the dial done since it's mechanical. And if it's not well lubricated, it's just not good. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful phone. All right, so that's how you do... Uh, 5H dial, 4H dial, the same thing, 2 dial, same thing. The only thing is you may have the washer in the middle here, but the basics is the same. Grease on gears, oil on pivots and bushings, as you saw, grease on anything that moves, and the synthetic grease is the way to go. It won't interact with anything. And I hope you got something out of this video. Here, I'll show you the handset. This is an early phone. It's got, the early, it's got the early E1. Look at this beautiful. Look at the condition of this thing. Early E1 handset. It's got all crap in there, but that, I don't think that's spit. I think that's could be spit. Who the hell knows? Maybe this, I don't think so. This was never used. There'd be some ear potato in here, and there isn't. It's nice and clean. This is just probably gunk from sitting around. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful piece. This has got the seam. Look at this. Don't even have to be polished. All right, that's that.